Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just standing outside the Telford Inn. This is a pub in the Welsh village of Trevor, spelt Trevor. I had a couple of drinks in this pub a few years ago. It's a very pleasant pub, but today it's about quarter to nine in the morning, so it's a bit early for drinking. So I've come to show you something else. At Trevor, it's famous for, well, two things. This is Trevor Basin on the Langoflin Canal, and as you can see, there's a little narrow gauge railway which is no longer in use. It starts just here by these gates. See the track literally ends there. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk along the narrow gauge track and we're going to have a look around Trevor Basin and one of the most impressive features of on any canal anywhere, I should think, but I'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So this is Trevor Basin. Probably up until about 1900, this would have been a really bustling place. Lots of industrial boats and horses would have been perhaps pulling wagons up and down here. I don't know if there was ever any locomotives on this railway. If anyone does know and wants to comment, then very welcome to. I'd, I'd like to, to know. Um, but right now, it's just part of the path, really. There's a set of points up here. It looks like in order to build the bridge, the footbridge, I've had to lift the section of track. So we'll take this little line here, following the track. So you can see we're going to walk along here. So we're going to just follow this bit more of the narrow gauge track, because there's one, something up here I would like to show you. So walking up here, this looks like we're now in a petrol station for boats. There's another set of points here on the narrow gauge tracks. So walking this way to the end of the, of the railway line, you can see we have a boat coming off the Langoflin Canal. It looks like they're coming into Trevor Basin. So that way under the bridge goes up to Langoflin. You may have seen my other video I did up at the Chain Bridge. That was further up the Langoflin Canal. Also, you may have seen my video at Castle Dinis Bram where we were looking down on the Dee Valley. I talked about that the canal comes in this direction towards Trevor. So, as I said, we're in Trevor, spelt the same as Trevor, but I've been told it's not Trevor, it's Trevor. I'm going to take you now over this bridge and we're going to go and see one of the most spectacular features on any canal anywhere. So, up here we can see the Telford Inn and Trevor Basin and the narrow gauge railway. Looking that way, you can see the canal that way goes to Hangoflin and that way goes over the bridge into England to join the rest of the canal network. So if we come down here, past all the pleasure boats, which I expect I'll do later on. There's that barge now just coming coming into Trevor Wharf. We're gonna go around the corner. So all of this area is a World Heritage Site. You may know most of the Langoflin Canal was built by Thomas Telford. There's a little cafe boat there. It's interesting. And sit and have a cup of tea. I might do that one actually. So um, yeah, what we're going to look at now is possibly one of Thomas Telford's most impressive features that he ever built. It's called the Ponta Sucli Aqueduct. So if we just go here, we'll be able to see it stretching out like that across the Dee Valley in front of us. It's it's really enormous. It was built. It took ten years to build. It finally opened in 1805 and it's the highest navigable aqueduct in the world, I believe. It's about 127 feet above the Dee Valley, so as you can see, it's a rather impressive structure. We're gonna walk across it now. So, that is looking back that way to Trevor Basin, and here we go onto the very narrow path of the Pontisacli Aqueduct. I'm just trying to make sure I don't drop my camera either into the water or into the over the edge because both will be equally as disastrous. So just 
at that, there was, as far as we know, there never was any kind of railing on that side. There is on this side, and it's really, I don't know how, it's quite hard to convey, but this path is quite narrow, and it's, um, well, I, I don't mind heights, but I personally wouldn't recommend coming up here if you, you're not so good with heights, but just look at the views. It's amazing, above the Dee Valley. And just see over there, Sefin Viaduct on the railway line, which takes you from up to Wrexham from Shrewsbury and down there is the um, River Dee, which this aqueduct was built across the River Dee. You can hear the water down on the River Dee, the waterfalls. So this really is very spectacular, the scenery. It's, um, yeah, quite an amazing feature. So we're going to be, in a minute, we're going to be 127 feet at its highest point above the River Dee. It's, um, yeah, amazing. It's nice at this time in the morning when no one else is about. So you can just see the waters down there of the River Dee. Looking that way, you can see a much older bridge on the River Dee. When I was a student and I was at university, we came here one night, in the middle of the night, we let some fireworks off. That was really quite fun, that's the sort of thing you only do when you're a student, but I just remember how much more spectacular they looked launching them from such a height. Because as you can see, with the River Dee down there, we really are, we're about at the highest point now, 127 feet above the Dee Valley. And you can just see ahead of us, there is a, a barge crossing the aqueduct. So, still got, still, only, we're not even halfway across. I'm going to walk a bit faster now. I just want to get across. And I am just a little bit concerned that I make sure I don't drop my camera because that really would be a disaster. But just look at the view. So I'm going to keep walking and in a minute we'll be on the other side. If you carry on up the canal, there's also Chirk Aqueduct and Chirk Tunnel, which is somewhere I should probably go and do a future video because that's it, quite exciting. You go through Chirk Tunnel, when you come out, you go over a, another aqueduct, not as high as this one, but it's on the other side, the railway line over there. And the railway viaduct is parallel to the aqueduct, but the aqueduct's about 70 feet high and the railway viaduct's about 100 feet high so they're parallel but obviously 30 foot height difference but this is 127 feet high so this is like I said it's it's the highest navigable aqueduct in the world as far as I'm aware it took Thomas Telford 10 years to build it when he finally opened it in 1805 so the Langoflin Canal which comes that way from up the Dee Valley it was able to take it across the Dee Valley it, it does make me wonder why he didn't build it on the other side of the Dee Valley, but then I'm sure there was probably a good reason. So, um, yeah, we're now just coming to the other end of the Pontus Suckley Aqueduct. It really is a spectacular place. If you don't fancy walking over here, you can. They do do public boat trips over here, so I really do recommend coming. You can either do a shorter trip from Langoflin Wharf, or you can... Um, come here, I mean sorry, you can do a longer trip from Langoflin Wharf or you can do a shorter trip from here. Let's just, as soon as we can by the look of it, as soon as we've walked over, let's go and walk under. So the canal, as you can see, it gets wider and goes off that way towards Chirk. With the aqueduct behind us, this little path here looks like it takes us down underneath. I thought it'd be interesting to see the, the aqueduct from underneath. So here we are now, we're actually, as you can see, it stretches out in front of us and we're now underneath the aqueduct. You can see the very impressive ironwork which holds 
the water above us. So, yeah, it really is quite spectacular. Let's just go up to the canal on the other side and we'll finish there. So a moment ago we were just over there, we've gone down and underneath and we're going to finish here by the aqueduct. So there, there it is in all its glory, stretching out across the Dee Valley in front of us. So thank you very much for watching this video and like I said it really is worth coming here either to have a walk or to take a boat over the Pontisuckley Aqueduct. So from the Pontisuckley Aqueduct in Trevor, Wales, thank you very much for watching, goodbye.